Well, hello again, viewers. If you've been following along with my um, player piano repair saga here, you can see that I have found where my leak is at. This has what's known as a transposing tracker bar, which means that the tracker bar is able to move back and forth. It also means that it doesn't play the last two notes on the bass end and the first note on the treble end so that it can transpose back and forth but so that the um, tracker bar can shift back and forth without bending the lead the tubing each time it has a ton of rubber hoses between the tracker bar and the tubes and as you can see virtually all of them in fact it's not it's not that there might be one or two that are okay all of them are bad and all of them are um, just absolutely rotten and falling apart and I'm sure that means it's gonna be more fun for me you know getting them all in the right order but this is the source of my leak so I don't have to go fiddling around back there those all look pretty tight anyway so I'm gonna need a bunch of of um, small diameter rubber hose and this hose here too that goes to the um, sustain pedal and while I'm at it, I'll need, need a piece to go from here down to there. But this is, this is what it's going to take to fix the, the, um, the leak in the... Um, why some of my notes won't work. So once this is taken care of, I should have a working player mechanism. And all I need to do is concentrate on the bottom half. So pretty nice mess there. This is obviously the the upper spool area. This cover and that cover all come off as a an assembly. They're laying there and um, I'm just got a lot of hoses here to change out. Looks like everything is arranged in a pretty nice orderly tidy manner with the tubes going either uh, to the top row or bottom row so it should be a simple matter of getting all the old rubber off and putting the new hoses on so uh, it looks like it's going to be a rel relatively easy repair you can see how old this this stuff is at every bit of rubber might as well show you every bit of rubber in this thing has been absolutely petrified the only thing that's not been petrified has been the bellows cloth this is the rubber hose that um, supplies air to the um, to the air motor. What's left of it? It's just um, it's flexible in places, but you can see it's it's really at the end of its life. Here's some of the pneumatic tubing for the um, sustain system, and as you can see, it's just it's rock hard. Some more rubber tubing here. Actually, I think this is the is the um, line for the air motor, and this is um, this is for the uh, the main air feed for the sustain. So yeah, rubber very perishable. <laughs> but uh, you know, most of the all the all the leather the it's not leather. It's 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 pneumatic cloth has all been in pretty good shape so I'm pretty happy with that I just got the um, on the uh, on the main bellow unit over there that goes in the bottom I've got to clean it up yet I haven't even touched it other than removing it from the player but it's um, it's next on the list and uh, it looks like it would be a fairly simple matter to recover it if I had to recover it. It's it's pretty plain in design. So we'll just see. Once we get the top part to where it works, you know, I can play it using the shop vac. Then I'll focus my efforts on the on the bottom half there, and then we should be in business. So thought I would share this with you so you could see this is. Uh, you've got a similar setup you might have a similar problem um, don't dawdle around just just replace all the rubber tubing that's what I'm gonna have to do you can see it's 
So there's five different sizes of rubber tubing in this thing, so you can see it's quite a bit that's going to have to be done. And um, it's fairly simple looking though. So I'm glad I don't have to, to mess around a whole lot more looking for leaks and exotic places. And um, I'm glad that all this is in functional order. That That's going to be very nice. So stay tuned for more updates. I probably won't do any more updates until I get some tubing ordered unless I go ahead and start working on the uh, lower uh, bellows pumps. So this is Oklahoma Bridges and the Color and Campbell piano here. And thank you for watching.